For 17 months, Nelson Mandela had been elusive. The South African police and intelligence had traced for the man, but they didn't chance on him until the 5th of August in 1962. That day, Mandela, disguised as a chauffeur, was driving with fellow activist Cecil Williams from Johannesburg, a top respectable freedom fighter in the African National Congress and the commander of the armed wing of the ANC, Umkoto Sizwe. Mandela had just returned from his travels abroad. His search for support to free South Africa from apartheid had led him to Algeria, where he underwent six months of military training and the All Africa People's Conference in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. When he sneaked back into South Africa, Mandela went to report the progress he had made to Albert Luthuli, the ANC leader then. The Nelson Mandela capture site is located here in Lands River, uh, Howick. It's about 150 kilometers away from Durban City. It is at this site where Nelson was captured with his friend Cecil Williams. They were both from Johannesburg to see Albert Luthuli, then the leader of the African National Congress. Mandela's journey to prison, where he spent 27 years, started right here. Following the arrest, Mandela insisted he was Cecil Williams' chauffeur, but the police would have none of it. He was immediately arrested at a spot just 12 meters away from where this monument stands. His arrest was followed by a series of trials, including the famous Rivonia trial. ANC was banned, but it continued underground liberation duties. This impressive sculpture, which gives a feel of 20th century South Africa, was designed by artist Marco, the same artist behind the concept and design of the Apartheid Museum in Johannesburg. The sculpture is a collection of iron poles that were carefully carved to form an image of Mandela's face at a distance. Uh, we knew the house, we knew the people around where he stayed, and then uh, so I came here to see where he was captured for the first time uh, when I was still a young boy. And then, uh, you know, it's a great pleasure for me to be here. The Nelson Mandela capture site started as a small museum. Previously, visitors were welcomed to a small brick house. It has been improved to a fairly bigger house with history writings on display. In September, the museum building will even be bigger with more works on display. The Apartheid Museum manages the capture site as well. South Africa intends to have more of such historical sites developed into bigger museums. The move will further develop the country's tourism, but only if South Africa can ease its visa application procedures. So we really do believe it will make it life a lot more easier for Ugandans who want to try and obtain a visa to travel to South Africa. Because as from the 2nd of June, the, the South African High Commission will be opening what we call a visa facilitation centre in the Google Bypass. And so at the same time, the Ugandans won't have to wait in such long queues to be able to gain their visas from the VFS centre. The Howick site will attract more people who have since heard and read that the capture of Nelson Mandela on 5th August 1962 was a turning point in the liberation struggle. His imprisonment made him the most famous political prisoner who would later become the first president of democratic South Africa. Frank Walisimbi, NTV.